Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video for the Data Pack Guy series. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at predicates. So let's get started. So, what is a predicate? A predicate is basically just a simple JSON file that allows you to have custom filters for a player, a mob, a block properties. So for example here, I've got a predicate that tests whether someone is sneaking. So I execute as everyone. If the predicate is sneaking is true, then I'll say I am sneaking, which I'm not sneaking right now, so it won't work. If I just quickly change my controls to sneak and toggle, then I can toggle sneak. And if I run this one, then now I am sneaking, because I am sneaking. If I unsneak and run this again, then nothing would happen here. So that's the brief introduction to what predicate is. So let's take a look at what else a predicate can do. Using the link in the description, you can go to miso.github.io and if you go to predicate, this will give you a very simple generator to give you every single thing you need to make your predicate. And it also works for different versions, so if you are using a newer or older version, just go to the right and change to the version you want. Now, for the sneaking one, we choose entity properties, and under entities, entity properties, we can go to flags, which is where I can choose to sneak or not. And other than sneaking, you can also see like sprinting, swimming, and all those kind of things. And a because a predicate is a filter, it can have multiple conditions. So for example, you can see, oh, they're sneaking and they're not sprinting. Then I can do like multiple flags at the same time. And I can also mix and match with every other field right here. So feel free to go and experiment with it. Now, one thing I'll show you here right now is that you may have seen like in popular mini games, whenever you fall off the map, you die instantly. But you may also notice that, for example, if you fall off the end island in the end, then the void damage doesn't kill you instantly. Instead, it does like a couple of hearts every tick. So, how do we kill a player instantly when they fall over a certain Y level then? The way you can do it, one way is to use predicates, and we can detect where the player is, and therefore whether to kill them or not. So the way we do this is under location here, and we want to go to position. And inside position here, we want to see if they're under a certain Y level, so we're going to have a, um, a float here. And if their position is at like under Y60 for example, so if they're under Y60, then this predicate will pass. Alternatively, other than this, what I usually like to do more is I use an object and my maximum will be 60 and my minimum will be like minus 70. So a, a couple more blocks of buffer below the like lowest height you can build from. And with this, you can detect whether a player is under Y60. So let's um, put this into our data pack. So just go to the bottom right here and click copy. It'll copy this entire code. Now you want to go to your code and under your code here, right click predicates, new file and you can do something like below y60.json and just paste in your code here, save it, and now put this back into your world and reload your world and this will work. So let's test it out right now. Back inside the world now, we can type slash reload and it should have loaded the data pack. Now currently I'm at Y64 here, so if I run the command, it shouldn't work. So if I just go execute, as myself at myself then um, if predicate below y60 then I'll run say 
you are below Y60, which I'm not right now. But if I just dig down a couple of blocks, and you can see now my Y is 58, which means I am below Y60. Now I run this, there you go, you are below Y60. Now if we come back to our predicate generator here, we can see that actually other than entity properties, we are actually have a lot more other things we can test for. Now one very useful one when making mini games and other utility is random chance. This is because it gives you a chance to roll something. So for example here we can have a chance and the, f um, the chance is in decimal so 1 will be 100% so 0 0.5 will be 50% here. So I'm just gonna make it 0 0.5 so you can see this one is very simple but it's very useful as well. So if we just copy the code and put them into our data pack then it, we can use this very easily so just new fold a uh, new file and we'll just call this 50 chance dot JSON and just put this in here now just put in your data pack into your world and reload going back into the game now I've got myself a couple of um, volunteers here which is six creepers it will help us test out whether the 50% chance work or not. So very simply I'm gonna go here I'll go slash execute as at e now they, these are my special creepers and they have a tag of um, chance test so and then I'll do at themselves if our predicate of our 50% chance work, then we'll just set block right above their heads um, and we'll set a diamond block. And if we run this, okay, that was not a very um, random chance, but that was um, a bit unlucky, but only this one creeper successfully ran the test. So let's try that again. Now this time it's a little more correct. So this time these four creepers successfully like passed the 50% chance mark and these two didn't. If we try that again, this time only this one successfully ran. So yeah, using this we can get random chance and with this we can very effectively randomize things in a mini game and stuff. So for example, you can link this chance thing to some other functions. For example, whether a player is gonna get, I don't know, some diamonds or not. So if you use this chance thing, then you can effectively run it without using like redstone components and droppers with different signal strength and stuff for the random chance. And it'll be a lot more simple and clean. So yeah. That's predicate in a nutshell and it is very useful. And with that, that's all I'm gonna do for this video. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And I guess I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now.